I pray for you, my brother. Put away titles. Put away titles. I am Dr. Swanderson. I am CPA Swanderson. That one will never take us anywhere. I love David, the servant of God. He is a man. People talk well of him. And he never spoke of himself. People spoke on his behalf. I pray in Jesus name let people speak on your behalf because of what you have done in their lives let people speak well of us because of what we have done to their lives because of the lifestyle the lifestyle of impact because of the fruits people are seeing the fruits people see will make us be recognized. People have gone to school. I've seen people with PhD. I've seen people with the masters. I've seen people have gone to school. They have died left this world without making an impact. Praise the name of the Lord. They have died without leaving an impact. The most important thing is not where you come from. It's not for your achievement, but what you have done. This man said, I have known David as a skillful man. I have known David as a man of war. I have known David as a good man. Praise the name of the Lord. And they presented him to the king. Are we together? They presented David to the king. David never presented himself. Praise the Lord. There are people who like presenting themselves. They want to see the governor to know them. They want to see the MCA to know them. They want the village of Mukasa to know them. They want to be known. Praise the Lord. They have done nothing, but they talk so much. That is not the kind of people. The church is raising today. They presented David to the king. I want you to remember that. They presented David to the king. David never presented himself. Amen. Whenever the favor of God is upon you, opportunities will come. Opportunities will look for you because there is recognition. Whether you like it or not, people will come for you. People will look for for you. Praise the Lord. I have seen most of the times when we have good performance. Okay. If uh, maybe somebody has stopped in a case Kenya certificate of a primary education. People will look for him. They look for her. Praise the Lord. They are looking for her or looking for him. Praise the Lord. They look for her. It doesn't matter where your family is. If you even if you come from Punjosi, where you come from? Praise the Lord. People will come for you. Even if you don't have a phone, they will come for you. Whether you have shoes or not, people will come for you. Whether you have good clothes or not, even when you walk naked, they will look for you. Why is because there is recognition that has come. I want to tell you people of God, we should not fight for positions. We should not fight for for titles. What is important? Let us honor God. God will honor us. Will give us his favor and recognition will come in our lives. It's my prayer in Jesus name. But may the favor of God come upon our lives. In Jesus name. Somebody we can be recognized. In this world 
you are doing today. We want to be recognized. And most importantly, is when God recognizes you. When the favor is upon you. We should never struggle. Continue serving. Continue serving. Continue serving. I have been places where people rise up and I say I'm professor. You have not seen me. I am bishop so and so. You are not seeing me. Because the world today there's a law is not seeking for the honor of God. People want the honor of men. They want to be honored. They want to be respected. They want to be done well. They want to be treated well. This is not the message that Jesus came to preach. Jesus came to preach a message of love. A message of winning souls. A message of bringing people to Christ. That is the most important message. We have no other message. We have no other assignment is to make Jesus known. Favor brings recognition. Amen. Amen. I also say, but because of the favor, battles are won without fighting. There are many battles we are fighting. Amen. There are battles we are fighting. Every home has some battles. We can look at somebody right now the way you are seated. People can say, I admire you. My brother, my sister, you may not understand the battle this person is facing. It's only the grace of God. Amen. It's only the grace of God. There are many battles we are fighting. Amen. People of God, do you understand that? We are fighting battles. You may see people seated in the places of work in a very wonderful chair rotating rotating but when these people the kind of battle these people are fighting praise the Lord People are looking nice. Others are putting on a very expensive suit. Praise the Lord. But the battles inside them, when they will share with you, you will faint. You will collapse. Even you can develop hard pressure. People are facing battles. Amen. So what God does, every person, you must have a battle. Otherwise, you will backslide. God ensures you have some battles. Amen. If you have a very good home, you may lack money. The battle you are fighting is a battle of money. No money. Amen. You are living very well. You have a lot of peace. Everything is okay. No money. Praise the name of the Lord. And there is another one. Money is no problem. But no children. Amen. You have money to pay school fees. Even at international level. Amen. But the top child as a D minus. We have money. You can take even a child to abroad. Even the University of Pretoria. In South Africa. You are ready with just warming up. My child must just join Pretoria. Praise the Lord. When he comes out with a deep place. No. <laughs> I have money. But. Praise the Lord. So that is part of life. I want to understand. God has balanced this life. He has really balanced us. So that you cannot say, I am better. God will ensure there is a pawn in your flesh. Just what, what Apostle Paul said. I have, I have a pawn in my flesh. I prayed. 
For all the time, for this stone to be taken away. But God said, my grace is sufficient. There are battles you will fight and if Jesus comes, they will never be taken away. God knows you very well. Amen. God knows you very well. There are people who will have never half a million, whether you like it or not. Amen. You will never own a million. Amen. Amen. There are people who never own cars. God has cancelled. You will never have one. Even if you have money, you never own. Even if you buy today, tomorrow it will Praise the name of Allah. Why is it happening like that? God knows our weaknesses. He values more than the things you have. God is interested in eternity. God is interested in somebody entering heaven. He is not so much interested in how man, much money you have. He is not in the plan of God. Amen. The Bible says money belongs to him. So you cannot terrify God because you have one million. You cannot terrify God because whatever you have. God is interested with our soul. God is interested in us going to heaven. He is not interested so much on what you have. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? Amen. Do you understand the story of people who came to Jesus? And I say, God, what can I do to enter heaven? And then, uh, and Jesus said, you obey the law of Moses. You should not sin. You should not do this. And uh, he said, ah, that one you have finished. I'm okay. If that one is the only thing. Ah, that one. Ah, I don't steal. I don't commit adultery. You know, I just love God. But he said, there's one thing remaining. Go and sell whatever you have and a kill. Uh, and Whenever you touch money, praise the Lord. Amen. Whenever you touch money, you pesa. have touched the soul of somebody. So I want to say this. But the most important thing, I'm saying that battles are won without fight. Whenever there is a favor of God, there is battles will come. But you will see coming out of the battles. A Christian, we are not exempted from the battles. Christianity is spiritual warfare. You will fight until Jesus comes. Amen. There is somebody who is saying, the devil fears me. I think the devil ran away and I defeated the devil. I want to say you are not making an impact. Praise the Lord. You know when you are a friend of the devil, the devil will not fight you because you are a friend. Amen. Amen. But whenever you crush the devil, he will come for you. If you make an impact in the kingdom of God, even you may have children, around five children, but only one is facing a lot of challenges. Praise the Lord. Amen. Only one is facing a lot of challenges. You have five. But one is facing a lot. A lot of battles. What you are supposed to know. Praise the Lord. But this one is the carrier. He's the one who's carrying even the destiny of the race. So the devil will always fight the destiny carriers. Amen. This is the child who is the savior of this home. So we should never be discouraged. We should invest more in prayer and pray for that child. We need to take time and fast and pray. Pray. It's no time to give up. It's no time to lose hope. Destiny carriers are always fought. Praise the Lord. 
Are you are we together? Have you seen the children that disturbs you so much? Finally, they end up being the savior. But those ones you loved so much and you treated with a lot of respect. Hey, papa, mama, papa. Papa, mama. Finally, they may not help you. Praise the Lord. Those ones you really treat with like eggs. They may end up being even useless people. But the one you never knew. Those ones they will come at the rescue. In the time of a problem. Those children you, you looked as if they were useless. They will come. Praise the Lord. Those who will come. Those who suffered so much will come. Destiny carriers are always fought. But one good news we have. Whenever there is a favor, battles are won without fighting. Amen. Why is because God will fight for you? My prayer in Jesus' name, every battle we are fighting, I pray my Lord, the favor of God come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. We are going to come out victoriously. We are going to come out victoriously because there is a favor. There is a favor of God. This is a season of favor. Ever. May the favor of the Lord come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that every battle we have been fighting for long, I pray for the favor of God come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. There are many, many battles we have fought, but I pray for the favor of God come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for the Favor. I pray for the favor. What I need is for the favor. Whenever there is favor, we shall never be defeated. As a church of Jesus and as a family, as an individual, never fight a fiscal war. We are not in a fiscal war. We are fighting a spiritual war. Whatever challenges you are passing through, whatever battles we are fighting, I want to tell you the favor of God. Whenever the favor comes, you will never fight alone. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. What we need, let us honor God. Build a culture of honor. Spend time building a culture of honor. I want to say this. The church of Jesus, what we need today is a culture culture of honor. We must put ways on how we can honor God. Put our ways. The way what you do in the church. How you appear in the church. Even the time you come to church is very, very important. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to appeal to myself as I appeal to you. We must look for practical ways in which we can honor God. Look for practical ways what I'm sharing today is not just a message. It's a message from God. God has given me a message of honor. But I will preach this message. I will preach and some people may think I have been wasting time. God has given me a message but I can tell my people so that they can honor me. There's little honor in the church. There's little respect in the church. There is little fear in the church. In the body of Christ, there are so many titles. There are so many titles today. God is, has not called us to titles. He has called us to service. He has called us to honor. Build a culture of honor. Build a culture of honor. Build a culture of honor. My message today, I have no other message for the church. 
mwingine kwa kanisa. I have no other message for the body Sina of Christ. Sina ujumbe mwingine kwa mwingine. May honor come to the church. Wacha heshima ije. May honor come in our life. Wacha heshima ije maisha. We must look for ways. Lazima tafute mikakati. After listening to this message. Baada ya kusikia ujumbe huu. I know I've preach here. Najua nimezungumza for a long time. Kwa muda mrefu. There's a reason why I'm saying that. Kuna sababu ni kwa nini nafanya hiyo. So that hivyo. by the end of the day. Ili mwisho wa siku. It if is going to fail. Kama tunaenda kushinda. Let it's going to fail on you. Wacha nikashinda. Not on what I have said. If things are going to work contrary, I have spoken my message. For those who have ears, let you hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. What the Spirit of God is saying. May we have honor in the church. May we have honor in the church. May we have honor in our homes. Build a culture of honor in our own lives. Build a culture of honor in the church today. I pray in Jesus name. May the spirit of this honor which has been the church for a long time come to an end in Jesus name. May the spirit of rebellion may the spirit of this honor which has been the church for, for a long time come to an end in Jesus name. Come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. In Jesus' name, may the honor of God, where people come to church, understanding of this is a church. Praise the name of the Lord. Understanding of this is a church. Even people will be thinking, what will I put on? Now that I'm coming to the church, what will I put on? It's not just a matter of putting on anything. Praise the name of the Lord. The church is where people can come with three quarters. Praise the Lord. You can never see somebody putting on a three quarter going to the place of work. But people will come with three quarter in the church. Because the devil is a liar. He has made a church as a place where people can do the way they want. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. People can minister even with a hanging shirt. But they can never do that in a place of work. Why is because the culture of honor is not there. People can go to church late. But they cannot go to, to the place of work late. I've seen people going to place of work at 6. By 6 somebody seated. In the place of work. But in the church. They are the last people. To enter the church. Amen. The last people to enter the church and the first people to leave the church. Why is because the culture of honor is not in our hearts. My prayer in Jesus' name, may the culture of honor be part of us in the name of God. Let us honor God. Let us honor God. I pray may God open our eyes to understand the God we serve. The God we serve. Daniel said, for those who know their God, we rise up and do exploits. I love my God. If you love God, give Jesus a might hand clap. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. 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 Amen. But battles are won without fighting. Amen. We also want to say, but whenever there is favor, there is supernatural provision. Supernatural provision. Amen. I need supernatural provision. Our God provides. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God provides. Even in the wilderness, there is a help for us. Can we trust the Lord? Can we trust the Lord? 
I've heard people say that the things are tough. Things are not working. There is a man I read his book. And he says something. That when prayers are not answered. Amen. They are changing you. Praise the Lord. One of the reasons why prayers are not answered. They began by changing us. Amen. Amen. It means what you are praying for, you are not prepared for it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's like for now, right now I start praying. God, give me a helicopter. Praise the Lord. Amen. But now, we look at circumstances today. Do we need a helicopter? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Huh? Praise the name of Allah. So what happens? Such like prayers. They begin by changing us. So it means I want a helicopter with wrong results. Wrong motives. I want to be like someone and so. And God will begin by removing pride in me. Amen. She will not answer me but it will start by removing pride in me. Lakini ataanza kwa kutoa kiburi ndani yangu. Amen. Amen. Those so that some prayers are removing pride. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. There are some prayers which are removing weaknesses from us. God is not answering, but they are working. Every prayer has not gone like that. Every prayer is accomplishing something. Even changing us. Praise the Lord. Changing us. Praise the Lord. God give me money. But instead of money, he brings challenges. Praise the Lord. He brings challenges. So that to work on us, to remove some weaknesses, God give me a job. But the job is not coming. What is coming are challenges. So that challenges must come before the job. The children of Israel, before they entered the promised land, the challenges began. So before the promised land, challenges must come to shake us properly. Amen. To shake us. You cannot know our character unless we are shaken. Praise the Lord. If you want to know the character of somebody, you go and even when we are seated here, if we want to know the character of somebody, you will know now the character of people. People are not known in good times. But the character of people are known in bad times. Praise the Lord. Even when you have people who are married, when you want to know the character of your wife, it's not known in good times. It's known in the time where, where there's no money. Amen. The character of somebody is known. Not in good times. But the time where there is no money. Praise the Lord. Now. The time where there is no money. If that person can stay around with you. Then that is a right person. If that person will keep quiet. Then that is a right person. But the people, whenever there's no money, that's the way we. That's the way we. You know that this is now the kind of a person. This is now the right person. The character of person is known during hard times. It's not known during good times. That is a thing you must know from today. The character of a person is known during hard times. It's not that good times. That is why 
yes, when Bible. people left when people left Egypt wakati hao watu walitoka Misri before the end of the Canaan kabla waingie Canaan in the wilderness pale jangwani had it when God shook them hapo ndio Mungu aliwatikisa and after shaking baada ya kuwatikisa he only remained with the two people akabaki tu na watu wawili after shaking millions of people baada ya kutikisa watu mamilioni after shaking thousands baada ya kutikisa watu maelfu two people watu wawili amen a time of shaking wakati wa mtikisi proves our character a time of shaking wakati wa mtikisi it proves whether we are entering to the next level or not ndio utakao hakikisha kama tunaingia katika kikao men of us after shaking wengi wetu katika kutikisa god discovered mungu anagundua we are not ready kwamba hatuko tayari for the next level kwa kiwango cha kichi kinachofuata and we remain in the wilderness tunabaki pale changu and jesus comes sir my friend jesus name may god provide supernaturally wacha mungu apeane kiungu but after enduring for the glory of God in Jesus name amen amen the favor of God the favor of God will come when there is honor wakati kuna heshima desire the honor of God tamani heshima ya Mungu in Jesus name kwa jina la Yesu amen 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 are we together can we thank god for the message today in the name of jesus in jesus name i told you i'll continue talking about this i'll continue speaking about this amen as long as god is still putting this in my heart i'll continue sharing about this in jesus name so the prayer i want each one of us to pray but go teach me how to honor you teach me so that is a prayer i want each one of us to pray it's a prayer that is so serious the prayer that is going to transform our lives it transform our future destinies are going to be changed whenever there is that in the name of jesus Christ. david was a man he was chosen he was favored not because he was a very strong man not because he was a very perfect man he enjoyed the favor of god what we need to enjoy the favor may we enjoy the favor of god only if there is honor in us if the culture of honor in us there is a lifestyle of honor is what god wants this is a message for us we speak to god but god teach me how to honor you teach me if there's a places where we have gone against we have not done well I want to pray that God may help us. May God is honor come upon us. The way we appear in the church. The way what we do matters a lot. May that culture of honor come upon us today in Jesus name. Amen. Each one of us just make some prayer. Speak to God, speak to God. Because we understand ourselves. We understand ourselves. We can speak to God. But God I need culture of honor. God teach me how to honor you. The spirit that was upon your servant David. He was a man of honor. He was raised. He was acknowledged. Because of the way he was. Because of the condition of his heart. I pray in Jesus name. God build honor in our lives God. Build honor in the church and in the body of Christ. Father, there's something we are praying. Jehovah, may you change our eyes, Lord. May you change us, Lord. We desire to see your honor, God. Where we do. Where we have exalted even our gifts more than you. We ask you to forgive us. God, I pray may you raise people. May you raise me ministers. Father, the servants who are humble, Lord, servants who are ready to exalt you, Jehovah, to honor you, Jehovah God. Father, we thank you. I thank you, my God. I declare today, may you speak a blessing upon each one of us. I pray for those who are sick. I pray for those who are unwell. Heaven, Master, may you release your healing. 
In the name of Jesus, those who are at home, I pray heavenly God, even those who are admitted in the hospital, I pray for the hand of God. Lord, may you touch them. May you touch them, O God. Pray Jehovah God for open doors, supernatural provision. Must I pray God who makes a way when seems no way. Make a way for us. Make a way for each one of us. Make a way, Jehovah God. In these hard economic times, you make a way for us. Connect us with the right people. People will open doors even for us. Lord, we need people Lord, who will lead us to the next level. I pray, Jehovah God, open doors, Jehovah God, even for our children, those who are a train and they don't have a job. Father, I pray for a supernatural provision. Open a way for us. Open a way for us. Open a way for us. We ask for breakthrough and a blessing from above. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.